Here's a crazy tour story uh, out in Oakland, California. Um, it's a few days before we go to LA for the Red Bull show. We did a show for Red Bull. We open it up for the ASAP Mob and Tink. So we do a stop in Oakland, California. We go to the show, some dude approaches me like hella excited like to meet me. Like, yo, where's the rest of, you know, where's the rest of the guys? You know, can't believe you guys are out here, man. Can I get a pick? Can I get a pick and all of this? And then by like the, the end of the conversation, it's like we, we sitting right here talking, you know what I'm saying, chatting. He telling his friends, yo, yo, look who's here. Look who's here. And then by the end of the conversation, I realized that this dude is this excited because he thinks that I'm ASAP Rocky the entire conversation. The sound was terrible, just constantly. Like people in the crowd were like, ah, ah. I stopped the music and said, can everybody in the room head to the bar? And um, I'm, I, I stood on top of the bar and did the rest of my set. When we put up to his house, we just, like, we look at each other like, oh, fuck, we are really at Rick Rubin's house. Like, I have, I still have the water bottle that he gave me, with, that I drink all the water out of. The water just tasted different. I've had moments where I was just like, fuck it, man, I'm, I'm in debt, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta get a job, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta stop with the music, you know what I'm saying? I've had plenty of moments like that, but honestly, this is what I'm passionate about and what is success without struggle. I walk into that space expecting for people to be real and honest and genuine and not treat me like another number and not treat me like another place and not treat me like another, you know what I'm saying? But that's exactly how they treated me and that's my own fault for assuming that they wouldn't.